Good day guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can create um, shape keys in Blender on a mesh and how we can use drivers and uh, bones to drive those shape keys. So for example here, if I grab this little smile bone here and I move it up, I can see it triggers um, the shape key here, it's the smile.l and this one triggers the smile.r here. And this is a very useful thing you can use in character stuff and all sorts of applications. So I'm going to try and explain this as well, good as I can. And if you want this model, you can go in the link below. I am making it available on BlendSwap so you guys can use that or you can always use your own. But I would recommend you use this one so it, you can just follow along exactly. So I'm just going to get right into this tutorial without wasting any more time. And I hope you guys like it. So just once again, in the link below, you will find this model. Okay, so once you've downloaded the blend file from BlendSwap and you've opened it up, you're gonna see this right here. So you're gonna see the character and then a node setup, but we're gonna go to our defaults. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna go to our default settings. And you can see this is what we have. Now we only really want the head here. So I'm gonna select um, the backdrop, the lighting, the camera, and I'm just gonna go M and move into the second layer. And I'm also gonna select this hair here, this, this scalp. I'm just gonna go M and move it to the second layer as well. And these eyebrows. Okay. So all we should have right now is our head here, the eyes and uh, um, this shirt here. Cool. But the thing we're gonna be working on is the mesh here, this, um, the character itself. And um, it doesn't matter if you have a full character or just a head like this, it'll work either way. And what we're gonna be doing is adding shape keys to this. So I'm also just going to enable texture mode because I like the way it looks better. So with that done and my mesh selected, we're going to go to our mesh data tab here. I'm going to click on it and we're going to see under vertex groups and between UV maps, there is something called shape keys. So we're going to drag this down, give us more space to work with. And we're going to hit the plus key while this is selected. So hit plus and it's going to create our basis. And our basis is the unedited mesh so if we ever need to revert back, or we've messed anything up, we can go back to this one. And we always delete this one last when we're deleting shape keys. So after we've created our basis, we're gonna add plus again. And it is this point where we can add um, things to these, um, these shapes here. We can like come in here, make an edit and make shapes. And I'll give a demonstration here. So if we take this shape key one here and we turn the value all the way up to one, I'm just waiting for it to respond here. Um, for some reason, Blender has been um, very slow these days. So drag the value here all the way up to one. And once you've done that, and you have this key one selected, the value is at one, you go over to edit mode. And we're just gonna make sure in our tools panel here that under options and under mesh display, we turn off X mirror. And then we're gonna select any one of these vertices in the corner of the mouth. We're going to make sure our proportional editing is unconnected. Then we're going to hit G and just move it up like so and then R to rotate the mouth and just create a nice little smile. Then we're going to go to our right view and we're just going to pull it back like this. And just puff the cheek out just a little bit to give the sense of displacement. Bring this lip here just like that. So. If we take the slider now, oh, come on. Maybe I'm gonna just go out of this mode. So if we take the slider here, we can see now that our character is um, doing that shape. So at one, it applies to shape 100%, and at zero, it's completely gone, and we can go anywhere in between. So we can now go ahead and rename this from key one to smile dot r because it is our right side smile, or actually I should say our left side, okay? And then what we can do, instead of doing it on the other side again, if we just drag this all the way to one, smile one, we can mirror it over to the other side. So we're gonna go hit the little plus sign here with this all the way to one, so not the plus sign, the little triangle here, and we're gonna go down to new shape from mix, and then with that still selected, we're gonna go to mirror shape key. So if we go and select our second key here and drag this all the way up to one, we're gonna see that it does the same thing on the opposite side. 
and we can go ahead and call this smile.r. Okay, so we have our base here, our smile.l and our smile.r. And if we want to set everything back the way it is, hit this little x here, not the plus, but the x down here, and it'll set everything back again. And if you ever wanted to undo all of this, just delete these two and then this one last. So we're just going to focus on these two shapes today, smile, um, the, the, the smile here. And it's just to teach you guys the basics of shape keys and how to apply drivers to them. So with that done, let's create an armature. So I'm going to go shift S cursor to center. And then I'm just going to go add mesh or not mesh, go to armature, single bone. Then I'm going to go to my right side view, move the bone back to here. And also under my um, armature settings, just make sure X-ray is enabled. Then I'm going to go into edit mode on my bone. I'm going to drag this bone down like so. And then go E with this knob selected. And then with this knob selected, just go E and extrude up. And this is just a quick little example. And then we're going to go to our front view. And I'm just going to grab the head bone here and go Shift D to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to scale it down like so and put it at the corner of the mouth, then go to my right side, bring it forward just to the corner of the mouth here. And that's going to be our, um, our driver bone. So when we move this around, it's going to make the drivers react and uh, accordingly based on the axis we move it. So it doesn't matter if you don't understand what I mean, we'll get to that in a second. So with this bone selected, we're going to hit N to open up our properties panel. And under item, under armature here, we're going to go to the bone setting here. I'm just going to name this smile dot capital L sorry smile dot capital L and it is very very important that you name it correctly we you need to have a dot and a capital L it, it has to be capital and then with this bone seal selected all we have to do is go to armature and symmetrize and what it has done it has automatically symmetrized this bone here and put it on the opposite side and renamed it to smile dot R which is very important and it means we're working in the correct manner. So I'm going to select both of these by holding in shift. Then still holding in shift, I'm going to select the head bone, go control P and make this keep offset. So we've parented these two to the head bone. Now we can do the fun part and that is adding our drivers. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to, even though it's not necessary, just out of habit, I'm just going to rename these bones. So I'll name that head, name this one neck, and I'm going to rename this one chest. Awesome. Now we can do the fun part, like I said. So we're going to go out of edit mode on our bones here. Go to object mode. And then I'm going to select the mesh. And we're going to go ahead and add a driver now. So I'm going to go to my smile.l first. I'm going to right click on here. Hover over add driver. Move to the left. Go down. And we're going to say manually create um, later. So click on that. And we can see here it's gone pink here over these digits. And what we do now is we go to the side here. We'll see this little triangle here. We're going to pull on this to open up a new tab. And we're also going to get rid of our tool panel by hitting T over here and also get rid of our tools panel this side <coughs> and, our, um, and our properties panel. So just get rid of that. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to go to our graph editor. And then under F curve here, we're going to make this drivers. So once you've done that, you have your mesh selected, you're going to see here, you should now see the key here. So click on this and you can see smile and it, it tells us the value here is smile.l. So we're going to click on that, but we don't see anything here. So what we're going to do is hit N to bring up our properties, our, our properties panel here. And then we're going to go down to drivers. And under type here, it says scripted expression, we're going to make this averaged value. Okay, and then we're going to go down to where it says object and we're going to select our armature. So go and select armature. And then the bone within our armature, we're going to select because this is our smile.l is our bone, smile.l. So this one right here. And how this works when we move this bone, okay, on its local axis, we want it to affect the driver. So first of all, let's just look at the axis here. So with a bone selected, we're going to go to our axis. So under our um, armature settings here, just go to axis. And we can see here the local axis here is X along here, Z along here, and Y along here. And you can see that is different in the world axis. If you look down here, you see Z is up, 
y is that way and x is this way. So local and x are not um, local and world settings are not the same. So we always want to work, if we can, with local bone settings. So going back to our mesh, selecting our mesh, we now know that y is the local up on our bone here. So under um, type, we're going to make it y. And like we said, we don't want to work on the global, we want to work on the local. So under space, we're going to make it um, local space. Okay, which means if I move this bone up now and it's local y, it's going to affect the driver. But at the moment, it's not doing much because we need to tell it how much, the sensitivity. So we're going to select our mesh again and we're going to go to modifiers. Or we're going to add a modifier, add a generator, and we're going to call, okay, we don't have to call it anything. We just have to go to here. We can see it says y and we want to tell it how much that y has to work. So it says plus here and under here, it's a value of one. Let's make it stronger. Something like 14 should be okay. So just waiting for Blender to respond here. Okay, so it's 14 now. So if we grab this bone now and we move it up, you can see it is doing the effect. It's, it's controlling that driver. And if we wanted to do the opposite, what if we wanted to drag it down on its local Y and make it affect that driver? We could always go here and just invert this. So make it negative 14 which means if we bring it down by 14 units, it goes up like that. So obviously um, we want it to be the positive, so we're, not, we're just gonna make it 14 again. And all we have to do now is do the exact same opposite here. So instead of re going through all that again, all we're gonna simply do is click with our mesh selected, right click on here, copy driver, go to our smile.r and then go paste driver. And then we're gonna see here, it should come here, value smile.r, so click on that. And all we have to change here is go to our drivers again and change the smile.l here to smile.r. And these things can stay the same because this also has its local y is the exact same. And it's also gonna go up, so nothing has to change there. And yeah, that should work. So if I grab this bone now and I move it up, there we have it. So it's um, the character is now smiling and this one is now smiling. So that is how we can use um, uh, um, drivers to work with our shape keys. So instead of coming in here every time and manually having to drag this, we can just incorporate it into our rig. And just as a side note as well, you don't have to use bones. You can use any object as a driver. You can even parent objects to bones and then use those objects that are parented to the bones as drivers. So I hope this hasn't been too complicated and I've explained it well enough. And with the, these principles you've learned here, you should be able to do all sorts of things. You can add this to the eyelids, make them come up and down. You can do it to the jaw. <clears throat> you can do all sorts of shapes. And um, I've seen some characters that people do where they do so something up to like 500 shape keys per, for one um, face mesh. So it can get quite intense and you can also substitute, um, substitu substitute it with um, like rigging and weighting as well and stuff like that. So. There's a lot you can do with this. It's a very useful feature, and I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it hasn't been too difficult, so please like and subscribe, share, and uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below, and I'll uh, try to get to you. Thank you for watching.